would you kindly join me for another episode of Bioshock 2? This is Jewel Smith and I am playing my way through Bioshock the Collection. I have finished playing the first Bioshock game and now I have moved on to the second Bioshock game. We are currently in this uh, amusement park level. We have to journey to the surface. Okay. Up a floor, down a floor. Oh. Come on, come on here. Oh, I see. I can go up and down. So there's level one, level two, level three. That's where I am. This is a very complex area here. Much larger than any area was in the first Bioshock game. We have a lot to get through. I think this was Ryan Amusements. Is that what this was called? Yes, Ryan Amusements. We have already used one Power to the People machine in here. We found a ticket. And that ticket's gonna let us in. We still haven't actually gotten into the uh, amusement park yet. Maybe I shouldn't have done- oh, he broke the window. We tried to break the window when we came in. He managed to break the window I could not break. And now I have a machine gun. Holy shit, yes. Can I- can I do anything with these pistols? No. Can I do anything with those? No. Uh, can I- can I grab them? No. Telekinesis won't work on them. Okay. Oh, I have a machine gun, you guys. That's new. Well, there was a machine gun in the uh, in the first game. I've already used the power to the people for that. I think there's uh, there should be one more power to the people in here somewhere, though. That's what I was just saying. So maybe we can power up the machine gun. Oh, I love machine guns. I loved it in the first game. Up. Choppers, get yourself hit. No fuck up this time. Daddy's home! Taking! Oh shoot. Alright, let's switch to the rivet gun. What's wrong, you fucking pill? I got it this <laughs> Alright. There are a lot of splicers in this game. A lot more than I remember having to deal with all at one time in the first game. Well, I don't know, as the game progressed, as Bioshock 1 progressed, it did get more difficult. But, wow, it just seems pretty intense right off the bat here. I mean, this is only like, what, episode 4? And I'm having to deal with so many splicers. To Ryan yeah. Amusements. Insert your ticket now. Half price for children under three. Let's look around in here, make sure I've picked up everything to pick up. Oh, here we go. Might help if I buy a few things. I have plenty of rivets, plenty of- no, not plenty of drill fuel, okay. But I seem to be finding a lot of drill fuel, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. No Alright, I've searched everybody out here. Golly, it seemed like there was more of them than that. Okay, insert your ticket. 
There we go. We have gotten into the park. Journey to the surface. Ooh, that looks like a roller coaster ride. I am Andrew Ryan. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Please enjoy the park. Free sample. Get more at the Hall of the Future. Sports boost. You've picked up your first gene tonic. Tonics are passive abilities that have a variety of helpful effects. Unlike plasmids, you never have to activate tonics. They take effect as soon as you equip them. In today's dangerous times, it never hurts to be a little faster. Remember, you don't have to outrun the crazed splicer, just your neighbor. Okay, you move slightly faster. Ah, this looks a little different than before. In the first game, you had the tonics were separated out. Combat tonics, uh, engineering tonics, and then I can't remember what was the third classification. But anyway, there was different types of tonics, and you would have six slots for each. It looks like they've just condensed them all into one. So like, if you want to have multiple combat tonics, you can do that and not be stuck. I think the other one was health tonics. I think that was the other one. All right, Vita Chamber, yes. Right, so which direction are we supposed to go here to enter the Memorial Museum? Oh, <laughs> nice. That's actually a thing. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I didn't think that was possible. I just wanted to try it. Just, just for shits and grins, but it actually is a thing. Nice. Can I get up here? Can I get back in here? Is there anything back here? No? Okay. What's over here? Staff only. This door seems to be stuck. Gift shop. Oh, nice. Sure. Alright, I think we have to go in this way. Metro lobby. Dreaming Rapture. Andrew Ryan wakes one night while cruising the Atlantic in his steamliner, the Olympian. His sleep interrupted with a singular purpose. Here, he shouts to his crewmen as he wipes sleep from his eyes. Full stop. We begin building here. Oh god. Yeah, we found out in the last episode that uh, this place was supposed to be an amusement park, but then Ryan turned it into his own sort of autobiographical museum. Refitted for heavy construction, the Olympian returns with a new cargo. A state-of-the-art submersible platform nicknamed the Sinker ferries supplies and workers to the sea floor fathoms below. Let me use the power of my mind to grab that. Thank you. supplies have been brought to the seafloor. The platform is permanently moored in the sediment. Massive iron girders are sunk hundreds of feet into the rock and silt. Below the platform, engineers work to overcome obstacles such as diamond hard rock, obstinate sea life, and unexpected health. Unexpected what? I didn't catch that. the map. So what have we got? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's so much to explore. I love exploring. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Park security to the surface. Hall of the future. Souvenirs to all trains. Oh my god, this is awesome. Volunteer. 
I love the kids in Ms. Englert's third grade class, but boy, I had no idea what I was getting into, volunteering to chaperone this New Year's sleepover party at Ryan Amusement. Donnie? Donnie, get down off that exhibit, and I told you, spit out that gum! You'll choke! <sighs> the kids' parents deserve a night off to enjoy New Year's, but I'm at my wit's end. Donnie, I told you! <laughs> All right. Is that her right there? This field trip did not go well. Oh, dang. The floor caved in here. So that exhibit is all messed up. After the platform is secured, work progresses at an astounding rate. Designed to be the foundation of Rapture, workers toil around the clock to create the metropolis you see today. Yeah, and those workers in those diving suits, that's what ends up becoming the Big Daddies. That's why Big Daddies have those diving suits. Gift shop. Journey to the surface. El Dorado Lounge. Caution wet floor. Yes, alright. The El Dorado Lounge. I think that's where Sinclair was telling us to go next. You're kind and welcome here. <laughs> gift shop. Yes, let's go loot the gift shop. That sounds awesome. I'll hold it. The number. Oh no, they're playing that song, How Much Is That Doggy In The Window? That's from the first game too. That means that this video is probably going to get a copyright notice on it. <laughs> I won't get in trouble. Uh, what will happen is they'll tell me I can't monetize the video because it has this copyright content in it. That's fine, because I wasn't going to monetize it anyway. <laughs> Anything else behind the counter? Oh, I got a little loopy. Big daddies can still get drunk. There we go. Alright, just lasts for a second. Oh, this guy! Epstein the Swami. Useless fortune telling machine. Can I look through these? I guess not. There were some in the challenge rooms you could look through. They would give clues. Poppin' gum. Yeah, I want some bubble gum. Oh, now I'm in the souvenir shop. Ah, ammo vending machine. Yes, please. Trap rivets. I don't have very many of those left. Wow, yeah, I would like much more of these, please. I don't have a lot of money, though. Oh, I'll go with these. I really need money. And Eve. Oh, hey, teddy bear. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay. Sunbeam gum. Bigger bubbles. 25% more latex. 
The only gum fortified with vitamin D. Rapture's favorite chewing gum. Yeah, that would be important down here under the water. You wouldn't be getting any sunshine. And you'd be surprised how fast you can uh, get low on vitamin D when you don't spend any time in the light. I've heard that a lot of people are chronically low in vitamin D and don't realize it. Because in our modern society, we spend a lot of time indoors. And we, if we're outdoors, we put on a lot of sunscreen. And we're just not getting enough vitamin D. Little dollies. Black Dream, an experimental film by Sander Cohen, that <laughs> that nut job. <laughs> we met him in the first game. And shark toys, okay. I love this. I just love exploring. Just seeing all the things that are new and different in this game. Different from the first Bioshock. There's a boat toy. More boat toys. Oh, man. It's back here. Strictly I can if hear. Who will be my be mama? Nene Lions Doll Babies. Alright, I can hear a splicer. Yeah, I heard her. Safe pack. Hello? Is someone in the hall? Oh shit. She's coming up. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Boy, she really had <laughs> a dramatic death scene, didn't she? Cutting corners. Used to be there was no margin in running the gift shop. I couldn't hardly sell off this tourist crap for a penny more than the cost of manufacture. Then I met a straight shooter named Sinclair, and he laid a sweet deal on me. Says he's got some hard luck folks down at Popper's Drop can whip up this junk at half the cost I used to pay. Yeah, I had to pick a needle or two out of the shipments, but all in all, Nobody's the wiser, and I'm all the richer. Ah, Sinclair. He's the one who's currently helping us along through the game. Tenenbaum was helping us out earlier, and then she ducked out to escape with her, with her babies. She's trying to rescue little sisters, and now Sinclair is guiding me along. All right, safe hack. Now the hacking works a little differently in Bioshock Two than in Bioshock One. There we go. Get a blue bonus while hacking for additional cash. Oh right, that sounds awesome. Anti-personnel rounds. Huh? Okay, let's try the anti-personnel rounds. The first aid Gotta kit. Gotta smash myself! 666! I'm all out of Eve, so I can't use my Electro Bolt. That sucks. There's still a little area down here we can search in. I thought there were three of them. Wasn't there another one over here that I shot? Oh, 
Well, I have more money now, so... Let's see, I have plenty of rivets, trap rivets, anti-personnel rounds. I don't know if those worked as well as the uh, as the rivets, you guys, for real. I'm thinking that the rivets, the way to go, it's kind of like the crossbow in the first game. Don't know if it's worth wasting money on that. Yeah, I'm going to stick with uh, the rivet gun. I'm liking that better. But I need some Eve. See, I won't be able to get in here. Because I can't zap it. Ah, oh, bummer. <gasps> oh, that gave me just a little bit of Eve. <laughs> so can I zap this? There we go. Oop, I heard a... Ooh, heavy rivets. What are heavy rivets? Fresh water, yes please. Oh, that gave me a little bit of Eve. Rapture is deliverance. There's Sophia Lamb. Surface, Eleanor. I spent half a lifetime there in service of the common good. But then I heard my own words twisted by fat old men squatting over the embers of Hiroshima. Were the modern world a patient in my care, I would diagnose it suicidal. On perhaps that point alone, Andrew Ryan is correct. Rapture is deliverance. Can we open those stalls? I guess not. So Sophia Lamb's trying to make her own version of the perfect society down here. Very different from Andrew Ryan's, but still just as uh, screwed up and twisted. A splicer in here? It sounded like there was. Oh, yep, she's coming out of. Uh, I wonder if we can put down a, uh, a trap rivet in front of the. Is she gonna come out of one of these? There's oil under it. Like, if I had the incinerate plasmid, I'd be able to set it on fire. Alright. Well, at least it switches between ammo much faster. Oh my gosh, in the first game it was so annoying. It would take forever to switch between ammo types. Somebody in here. My home. Oh, my. I didn't get any bolts back. Any rivets. That's a bummer. Dr. Lamb says babies like me. Each of us has a moral duty to increase the common joy and ease the common pain. Alone, we are nothing. Mere engines of self-interest. To 
together. We are the family. And through unity, we transcend the self. Some ungrateful parasite must be chopping my heirlooms for pure <laughs> Back into the Rapture Museum. Oh, there's another one down there. show the Eve hypo but it allowed me to collect it. That's weird. But now it still says I have zero hypos. Oh, that seems like a glitch. There's a circus of values way down there. I really do want some more Eve. Uh, I may have missed an Eve dispenser somewhere. There's Eve dispensers, which is a new thing. Alright, let's move on. Let's go down here and see what's down in this level. Oh, I could heal myself at the... Uh, the health station here, but I could hack it. Let's see if we can try to hack it. Alright, not bad. Okay. There we go. I like that. That works. Am I hearing footsteps? what I'm hearing. I know I'm hearing music, but... Oh, here we go! Ammo vending machine and a regular circus of values. Let's get us a couple of Eve hypos. That sounds awesome. Because I am using a lot of Eve. We can't seem to get in there. Sophia's brain a prowler? I don't see a door control for me to zap. So there must be another way into that one. Alright. Nothing there. But we could bring the hounds in from the stables just the same. Oh dang, she's right there. Boy. Help me find this. Ugh. Look at her face. I don't think that's a mask. I think the splicers have just gotten uh, a bit uglier. <laughs> Alright, this is the gift shop. Right, we were already in there. We should go into the Eldorado Lounge. Let's see here. Yes. That's where we're supposed to go. 
I haven't saved in a while. Let me save real quick. There we go. I know I can respawn in a Vita chamber, but sometimes the game crashes and I don't want to lose progress. chips. I won't eat all that yet. I'm full up on health for right now. Can't get through the staff doors. They all seem to be locked. There may be a way to unlock the staff doors at some point. Ooh. More bullets. Thank you. Oh, okay. So I can get up this direction. Okay. El Dorado Lounge. Oh, Until you arrive, Father, I'm trapped here. Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help. Smuggling these gifts out. Oh, is this from Eleanor? Hope this helps. Aww. Look at that. I think she's using the little sisters. Oh, drill power. Okay. New tonic, drill power. Prefer your combat up close and personal with drill power. Your drill attacks do more damage. Sure. Eat dog. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for <laughs> Eleanor Lamb speaking. Mom says I'm not to play with the other children because they're being raised on a diet of dog eat dog. I wanted to see these dog eaters, so I waited until Mom was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog eaters wear human skins. It makes them look just like us. Why does Eleanor have such a sweet little British accent? I mean, I think... I, I wasn't really paying much attention, but does it seem like Sophia Lamb has a British accent? Maybe slightly, but it... It seems more pronounced in Eleanor. Are these corpses? They look like dummies. Or maybe they're just wrapped up. And uh, this one does look bloody. Ugh. Alright, let's go this way. Journey to the surface. Anything over here? Some more money. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. Poseidon Pilsner. Okay. Oh, we weren't actually in the El Dorado Lounge. We were just in the entryway of the El Dorado Lounge. Oh no, there's a little sister ahead. To get the atom, you must deal with her big daddy first. He will not attack until you do, but be prepared for a difficult fight. Oh my goodness. Find the little sister in the El Dorado. Alright, let's hack this. 
All right, it's gonna help me out here. And maybe we should save again. <laughs> sure. All right. Trap rivets. Yeah, trap rivets might be a good thing to use. Oh, there's a vital chamber for when I die. Alright, so what do I have here? Electrobolt and telekinesis. That's all I've got. Should I hack this? I need to heal myself, and what can we get here? Mm, I don't know. I think I'm good. I think I'm good as is. Alright, but what I think I want to do is some trap rivets. I don't know what the heavy rivets. Heavy rivet ammo against armored targets. Okay. That might work better against a big daddy. Now that big daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to Lil Sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good. Yeah, I got it. I got it. So these are kind of like mines. Is he gonna set it off? setting these off. Okay, so that's not gonna work much. Alright, you ready? Let's do this thing. I wonder if I can use my drill. Oh, gotta use a first aid kit though. Let's go to the rivet gun. Heavy rivets. I'm out of heavy rivets. So let's go for the drill, I guess. Oh, the drill seems to work pretty well on a big Take daddy. Take a breath, son. You did it. Now, just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. Pick up the little sister. Daddy, Adopt. are you taking me home too? Yes. Aw, oh, baby. Aww. We're in business. Now, Trophy there earned. Are Adopted a little all sister. Over Rapture, and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them. Find one. You have adopted a new little sister. Press and hold square to ask her to lead you to an atom filled corpse. Okay. Gather atom from two bodies. All right. Daddy, over there. Over there, huh? Oh. Okay. Well, we're gonna look around in here and search this place and see if there's anything else to pick up. Can I pick these back up once I've thrown them down? I can. Thank goodness. That's pretty cool. Ryan was wrong. To hand sufficient power to any individual is to create a tyrant. We must therefore eradicate tyranny at the genetic level. To end sin itself. That is the family. That is our cause. Child and guardian. 
found one of those children at last. Oh, this is that Mark Filthy Meltzer dress, guy again. All alone. I approached her. Praying. He's looking for his it daughter. Was my girl. But she was gorging herself on blood from a corpse. It wasn't her. I stared, just just reeling. And then that skinny armored freak that took Cindy jumped me, shrieking like an animal. I escaped, but could Cindy have become one of those things? I've got to find her now more than ever. All right, we've already looted him. Just making sure I got it. I wish I could see myself. I wish I could see myself with the little sister on my shoulders. Alright, let's go this way. I think this is the way she was telling me to go. I've walked in the valley of the shadow of death. Yeah, see, she's talking about Big Sister. There's Big Daddies and also Big Sisters in this level. Well, in all the levels, I guess. In this in this game. <laughs> in this Bioshock 2. Okay, so where are we going now? See? Adam is near. Can I see it on the map? Because it shows a little skull there. See, it says Adam with a little skull and crossed eyes. Oh, uh, looks like there's one down there. Okay, well, let's go find it. I don't know which way to go, but I guess she'll tell me. baby down here she's got a juicy one but when she starts draining oh, out the air the splashes will come running be ready before you set her down on that body oh okay I hear you I hear you dude I hear you loud and clear so we're gonna set this up around here Got you. Thanks for the heads up, Sinclair. I mean, might as well. Just If I can pick him back up again, I might as well throw down as many as I need. Just put her right down on that corpse. I'm doing it, dude. Just getting shit ready. All right, here we go. Right here. See it glow? All right, there you go, baby. That is a child of the family. Not a toy for you to exploit and discard. It is fitting that you expire here. One more forgotten curio in Ryan's shrine to the self. Your come. little sister will Keep gather Adam for you, but it takes time finished, and attracts splicers. Never give up the hunt. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Are they gonna come from this way? Stop ignoring me! Oh shoot, I need to uh, use a first aid kit. Oh, and my alarm's going off telling me that I have been playing for about 45 minutes. <laughs> what a time to tell me!
Uh, let's see here. Let's do these. A simple tab on there. Oh god. Oh, it tugs my heartstrings. Now you know the stakes, son. But a plasmid costs a bit more atom yet. Keep it up. Holy shnikes. That was intense. Oh, I love that I can pick these back up. I don't know, maybe I could pick them up. Maybe I could pick up the uh, proximity mines in the first game. I just didn't realize. <laughs> But it didn't seem like I could. But I'm glad I can pick these back up and reuse them. That's nice. Alright. Oh my goodness. I want another one of these, please. Have plenty of drill fuel. Let me get this. I'm gonna go for another first aid kit or two. There we go. Okay. What's in here? Trap rivets. Those are pretty handy, but I can pick them up and reuse them. Heavy rivets. Extra dents. Uh... Massive increase in stopping power against all targets. So it's not just that they work better on uh, turrets or security cameras or whatever. They work better on everybody. Um, now nah, wait. I want to keep a few dollars in my pocket. Okay. Did we loot everyone that we shot? Oh, I guess I could do this. There we go. I think we did loot everybody. Alright, so now what? It looks like this door is open to us. We couldn't get in here before. Oh, right, and my alarm had gone off in the middle of the battle, so I better stop now. Because <laughs> I can only load up, uh, I can only upload uh, video clips of up to 60 minutes at a time. And if I go past that, then I lose whatever I was doing at the very beginning. And I don't want to lose anything yet. So... About this one. Make him listen. Oh, shoot. I guess we'll find out what's going to happen next time. Take care of yourselves until then. Remember to like, subscribe, tell your friends. You can find me on Patreon, Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook. Bye! <laughs>